Hallelujah. Well, this is going to be a connection with the other video. I messed up on this, but it's all right. And so we're going to get this up this evening. This is the mess of a police here. This is where I do all my work from here. We got to get the greenhouse ready. Look at that junk. So disorganized. But I get that clean this week because I got to start setting out seeds for the fall. All of that is a mess too. That is a mess. But I'll plant seeds out here. It's too hot to be in there this time of the year. And we got some everything, some lemon balm, all kinds of tomatoes. What is this? It's partially here. Partially. And these are yellow peppers from Baker Seeds Orange. And that's dill. Tomato plants here. And everything that we need. Tomato plants here. We can grow. Place is a fellowship. I built this by myself here. Basically, I built this by myself. And I built these with a little help of Zakin Ya Ramiya's son. He and I, that we can store plants and set them out in the winter when it's cold and let them harden off. And this is our home here. This is where we live. This is where we enjoy one another, care for each other. And above all things, learn how to love. You think you love someone, you don't even know what love is. You don't even know what love is. You think you have uh, the perfect design of love in your heart and you don't even know what it is. Going to ah, close out from here. Sitting here and what are these rockers? Just enjoying everything. It is cool here today. This time of the year, it's hot, very hot. So we're going to enjoy y'all. Let's wait on his promises. I'm getting old. Let me just give you a panorama before I sign off. I wanted to do something this morning, so y'all broke my. And this is Teshua community. This is our lives. We built everything from throwaway strap. This is how we built this place. And I haven't even taken you even down into the depths of the community. Plenty of sheep, goats, chicken, cows, fish in our fish ponds. We have everything, and don't tell me. I remember as a young lad in Winston-Salem in the 60s that people of my who galvanized themselves and they began to build a city called Soul City. You could see it off 85, you go that way. I haven't been that way in so long. I don't like 85, so I don't even know if it's still in existence. But it was called Soul City. For people that look like me. And as always, there are things that interrupt a process of things. You have to, or would have to understand the communal construct. You have to have a man and men that are honest, truthful, and that their lifestyles reflect that. That they reflect that. That they live just like the people. They live among them. They have no more than anyone. I could have lived like the world not living here. But I love my life. Not an adulterous man. There, there are places where my, the men have more than one wife. I've been married, I'm getting close to the 50th year mark. 
And don't tell me a man is a fool. He plays into his youthful, lustful activities. You cannot. From the beginning, he gave man a wife. And there is nothing more beautiful than a beautiful issue. And there are dogs that have two or three, four or five, and they have concubines. And these are daughters that their mind, their concept of truth, it is so weak. And so the coward of men will rape them and use them. That's a fact of the matter. And that happens. It is happening in this country among you Hebrew Israelites. Y'all gave me a beautiful daughter of Tizayon. That's all I need. There is nothing in the process of satisfying intellectually conversation, emotions, that she doesn't supply richly. Because she does. These are walkie-talkies. There's nothing she doesn't supply. You can see her videos online. She is rich in knowledge because she listens to me all the time. She has to talk to me. And we discuss things. These men are raping the women. They are dogs. They are filthy beasts. And by the way, I will debate any man that wants to debate me on that matter. Your daughters, you keep yourself clean for a man after the heart of Yah, not some little juvenile that for a moment he get his sensations and you're left without any thorough furnishing of what love is. That's the purpose of that thing. You get a concept of love an expression of emotions, a talk of a language that nobody knows because it is moaning and groanings and sounds that only you can utter. And the same thing with him. The same thing with him. And so there are things in life you never experienced because many times we were not taught these things. We had no one qualified to teach us and show us by experience. I say this to you, daughters, keep yourself from this filthy world and these dogs of men that will lie to you, knowing you're gullible and you believe it. I speak truth. And that said, me, the riches of your rest upon you and the comfort of Haruach satisfy your mind with the great pleasure of Imat, his truth. Yabruk, my friends, Yabruk.